Hey, Stewart's Chapel, Brother Don Pearson here and Don Counts, and we're at the church's office, and this is Wednesday's devotion. This is our third devotion in this new series about walking worthy of our calling in this next year. If you haven't seen Monday's devotion, you need to go back and check it out because that laid the foundation for this whole series of devotion, and that Monday's devotion was from Ephesians chapter 4, I'm sorry, yeah, Ephesians 4, 1 and 3. And then yesterday's was Philippians 3, um, verses 3 and 11, which if I'm going to walk worthy of my calling, yesterday we looked at the fact that I need to count all as lost. Everything, all that I have ever thought I gained and everything that I ever thought that I lost, I got to count it as lost in order to put my eyes on what's ahead and not what's behind. This devotion today is very similar to the one yesterday. It's a different text. All of these texts so far have been from Paul. We're in Romans chapter 1, verse 18 through 21. And he's talking, uh, he's gone way back to the very beginning and laying a foundation for the fact, for the truth, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, which he introduces in chapter 3. But in chapter 1 he says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness, because what may be known of God is manifest in them or made clear in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world... This invisible, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and his Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Verse 21, because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. If you and I are going to walk worthy of our calling, live worthy of our calling, and that calling, as I shared with you on Monday, it is our shared calling or our common calling, our universal calling, which is to follow Christ with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, with all our mind, following Him. If I'm going to do that, from this scripture, then I have to live without excuse. I have to live without excuse because I have no excuse. That's what God is saying. Everything that I need to know about who God is, He has made it manifest. He has revealed it in every man. And as one who has the Spirit, to whom much is given, much more is required. And I have much more, you have much more, because the Spirit is in me, I can no longer walk with excuses. I've got to stop doing that in this next year. It's not a resolution. It's a reality. Every time I start to give an excuse for my failure, for my sin, for my lack of walking and following Him, I need to hear myself saying, Don Pearson, you need to live without excuse in the next year. Well, the same thing is true for you. If you're going to walk worthy of His calling this next year, you're going to have to live without excuse because you have no excuses. You can't blame it anybody else. You can't blame your kids, your spouse, your situation, your work, your boss, your employer. You can't blame anyone for your failures to walk worthy except for yourself. And the same thing is true for me. If I fail to walk worthy of my calling that God has given me, and that is to walk faithful following Jesus, if I fail in that even one time, I can't blame anybody else. All the blame comes right here. I got to walk worthy this next year by living without an excuse. Love you, Stewart's Chapel.